Hi, it's Liz Sneddon. Let's have a look at describing trends when we're talking about relationship investigations. So if we have a pattern like this, and you can see the dots are just randomly scattered throughout, this is an area where we've got no trend at all. There's no pattern, there's no increasing, decreasing, changing pattern. The dot, there's just completely nothing going on. However, if we do have some kind of trend pattern, what we want to do is identify whether it's a linear or a non-linear pattern. So linear means it's going in a line, like a straight line, and non-linear, some kind of curve. So when I come to justify it, one of the things I look for is the gradient. So the graph on the left there, we can see for a straight line, your gradient stays the same. It's a nice constant slope. However, the graph on the right, you can see that green line, the gradient is changing. And in this particular case, the gradient is decreasing. So what we want to be able to do is identify where the gradients are changing or not changing. And then if they are changing, let's describe it a little bit more. So let's have a look at an example here. So the first thing I'm going to do is draw a blob around the data so I can look for the pattern because that's what I'm interested in is the trend pattern. Then what I'm going to do is this one, I've tried to put a straight line and that straight line looks pretty good. I've got a bunch of data above and below it throughout the whole um, stride length sections. So that's actually a reasonable fit. And so that's what we want to do is we want to just visually see does a straight line look good or not. So this one, a straight line does look good. So now I can say, right, this is a linear trend. And so I can say you've got a linear relationship between the stride length and the time it takes athletes to complete the marathon. So I've identified that it's linear, and then I've identified both of the numeric variables. So then I need to justify it. So I can say it's linear because, so that word because is always a good one to justify. And what I notice is as my stride length increases, the marathon time decreases at a steady rate. So that's why our line's going down at a nice steady rate or a constant gradient. So that's an example of being able to identify, describe and justify a linear relationship between two variables. Let's have a look at the second example now. So this is looking at diamonds and we're looking at the carrot which is how much it weighs, um, and the price of diamonds to see, okay, is there a relationship? So we're going to draw our blob around the data. Now what I do is I want to draw a line through the middle of the data. So I kind of want to get it so it's roughly half above, half below throughout. And as I look at that red line that I've drawn, it does not look like a straight line. So it's not a linear model. So what we have here is a non-linear model. So that's what I want to describe. I've got a non-linear relationship between the weight and of diamonds and the price of diamonds. So I've put it in context again. And then I want to be able to justify why. So it's non-linear because, and I can talk about as my number of carrots, so it's always that x variable, as the number of carrots increases, the price increases at an increasing rate. So the price is going up much more each time. So there's an increasing gradient. Thanks for watching.